want to create high-quality and professional business reports or academic papers, use these word tips to format your documents. Hello everyone and welcome to Royal Courses. Today I'm going to show you how to make your Word document look more professional for job or for school. Let's start. Click Insert, then Cover Page and choose the one that you like. Let's choose this one. Here we can put document title. At the end, we can put date, company name, and company address. Moving to next page. Your first big design decision should be which typeface you're going to use. Traditional knowledge says that serif fonts are easier to read in print and documents, whereas sans serif fonts are better on the eyes when read on a digital screen. On this text, I'm going to use a serif font which is Georgia. Skip Comic Sans if you want to avoid one of the most common presentation design mistakes. And whatever you end up using, stick to the same typeface throughout the document. If desired, you can use a different typeface for headings. It is also very important to put your font size on 12, because in most business and academic papers, um, they are typed in 12-point font size. Also, when you want to emphasize a certain word or sentence in Word, you can use bold or italics. So let's emphasize this word with bold and this with italics. It's important to never use a different colors to emphasize a certain word. To make your document be easy to read, you should put some um, line spacing in it. So we can choose here 1.15 or 1.5. You can also add page numbers. Just click on insert page number. And here you can choose uh, whether to put your number on top of page or on bottom of your page. I'm going to choose bottom of page. Uh, here you can see uh, do you want to show your number on first page or not. I don't want it on first page. so. Let's just click OK. Here we can have our first number and we don't have it on our cover page. So after I added more text and two headings, uh, two headings need to differentiate from our text. So let's change them. We can put it um, choosing this style and next one this style and then put some bullets. So let's choose maybe this one and also this one. We have numbers and headings that differentiate from our text. And last thing very important for our document is table of contents. From home you get to references then click table of contents. Before we added headings 1 and 2 and here we can choose uh, the style of our table of content. I wanted to add this modern style. Here we have table of content and heading 1, heading 2 that is connected to our table of content. That's all. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new today. Bye!